guys, Alex here. Today we're going to go over a school that is really, really expanding their online component faster than I thought. So this school is Indiana University. So Indiana University started an online component of their school, and they have put a ton of bachelor degrees on there, along with master's degrees as well. So their collection has become very large. Uh, their online school, their online platform is starting to trend. So it, Indiana University is becoming one of the big players in online education. Now, unfortunately, they haven't really made their degrees very hackable. I do not think you can transfer in ACE credits into these into Indiana University. So if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for degree hacking, if you're looking to get a bachelor degree fast, this might not be the degree up your alley. It's also kind of expensive as well. We'll get into the cost. I'll get into a screen recording. If you're more interested in graduating college fast and super cheap, then I would look at the other degrees that I cover on my channel and how to hack a college degree. But Indiana University, we're going to go over the computer science degree today. I like going over computer science degrees from a variety of schools. And the one at Indiana University was ranked as a top 20 online computer science curriculum. So I'm looking forward to jumping into it and seeing what it's all about. I have not looked at it, at it before this video, so I'll be going over it the same time as all you guys for the first time. So first thing we'll get into is tuition. So let's get into it, into the screen recording right now. All right, guys, we are on the screen recording page here for Indiana University, basically known as IU. So IU is what they're using, IU Computer Science. And we can actually look at the degree page just to show you guys how many degrees they actually have. And it's a lot, 10 pages worth of degrees. It seems like they just put all their normal bachelor degrees they had at their in-person school. And Indiana University is a terrific school if you want to get a great education. So they basically put all of their regular degrees in an online component. And that's how they were able to put all of these uh, it's the same thing ASU does as well, although ASU does give their degrees a little bit of a, you know, unique online spin, whereas IU has thrown all of their degrees onto their website as online. Um, basically, all of the majors they have in person, I believe you can also do online, which is pretty awesome. So I think more schools should do this. There should always be an online and in-person component to you know, 90% of majors. Now I understand some majors can't really do that, but with most of them, you can't. So we're gonna go over the computer science curriculum. First, we have tuition. So the unfortunate thing about this degree is that it's expensive. 390 out of state per credit, you're looking at 45 grand. That's too expensive, okay? I can't in good conscience recommend you doing this degree unless you just really love it, you love Indiana University, uh, or you just don't care about money. Money is not a factor for you. Or financial aid is going to pay for you know 80% of your degree. If those are things that are true, go for it. You know, But in good conscience, I can't recommend a $45,000 bachelor degree in computer science, especially online. You can find online computer science degrees from very, very legit, reputable universities for under 20,000 and especially under 30,000. You can also go to state universities in person for 30,000. So if you're not in Indiana, I just, I have a hard time recommending the degree, but like I said, we're just gonna go over the degree. Now for in-state 290. So this is where it gets a little more, you know, <clears throat> a little more uh, easier to swallow here is $290. So that would be about 34 grand for the bachelor degree, which is much, uh, much better. So $290, 34 grand, it's definitely, definitely much better. So if you're in Indiana, I actually would recommend this bachelor degree. So admissions, okay, degree requirements, and courses. So let's get into the curriculum, my favorite part. Now, computer programming one and two. Not sure what language this will be in, but you'll learn your basic computer programming. Pretty standard right here. So four credits each. And you have your data structures class, definitely a class you need. Uh, 
you know, to pass job interviews and all that. Another one is analysis of algorithms. So it seems instead of data structures and algorithms, they kind of split that into two courses here. You get data structures separately, you get analysis of algorithms right here. Now you get operating systems, always a very crucial and important course in a computer science curriculum and one of my favorite things to learn. I really do love learning about operating systems. I think it's very fascinating stuff. Computer structures, I'm assuming this is computer architecture named something else. So computer structures look like this is a upper level class, just like operating systems and analysis of algorithms. So you get, uh, you'll learn all about computer architecture here, which is another thing I find fascinating. Just learning about the architecture of computers. You know, uh, as much as I love software and all that, it's the hardware that really, you know, pretty awesome. Um, sometimes I think, you know, maybe electrical engineering would be something a little more of interest to myself and other people, but overall, great class, great stuff to learn there. Uh, programming languages here, you're going to learn probably a variety of programming languages and, you know, how they all compare to one another. And so another course here is discrete structures, which is basically discrete mathematics. Uh, this is the OG name for discrete math that a lot of in-person universities still call it to this day. And almost all community colleges will still call this discrete, uh, discrete structures instead of discrete math. So discrete structures is actually, you know, the proper name for it. Discrete math kind of like took hold over time, but it's the same course. Uh, this is the first time ever I've seen a degree have something called discrete structures and data structures without the algorithm part here. So that's a little confusing. Obviously this is a data structures and algorithms course minus the algorithms being right here. And then you have discrete math right here, which is discrete structures. And discrete math is always known as one of the hardest courses in a computer science curriculum. You know, so just be prepared to study a lot for this course. Uh, so you got system analysis and design database systems. This all looks pretty straightforward stuff here. Uh, internship and professional practice, internship. I wonder what this internship course is. I doubt it's an actual internship, but I'm actually kind of curious here. Maybe I will email Indiana University and see what they, uh, what they will tell me upon that. Now, emailing these schools never really works out very well. Uh, I feel like my communication with WGU and TESU was really good, but all the other schools, you know, they don't really like to communicate very well. So um, I doubt they would get back to me much with much relevant information regarding that. But uh, overall, that is your computer science curriculum. I thought there'd be a little more. This must have a lot of general education, I'm assuming. Now you got your career outcomes here, data analyst, uh, computer programmer, you know, all of your typical stuff, front end software engineer. So overall, pretty good curriculum from a very top tier school. This is ranked as a top 20 computer science bachelor online curriculum. So Indiana University, kind of expensive. You know, I, I, I can't recommend it in good conscience because of the price unless you're actually in Indiana. But like I said, some some of you watch my content just looking at a curriculum. You just want to see how other degrees look like or, you know, money is not a factor for you. So there are some of you watching that, you know, probably cost. You don't really care about it. So now whether this degree is right for you is something you'll have to decide for yourself. So. Indiana University is a top tier education. Uh, you'll probably have a little better luck with job networking and you know possibly an internship and things like that. So usually when you go to these more well-known schools, most of the time, but not all the time, especially online, but you know sometimes their online component does have more job networking resources, you know, basically a pay to play kind of thing where you know you pay more for a well-known school and then you get access to more networks uh, 
perhaps these companies are, you know, connected to the university and they hire a lot of the new grads. So that, that's, that's one thing to consider with these uh, well-known schools. So sometimes you, you pay a lot of money, but sometimes you get what you pay for because they help you get your foot through the door a little more. Now, that's more of the case usually in person than online, but sometimes online, these, these schools still have those great job networking aspects. Whereas in person, though, you can go to job fairs at the school, you know, go straight up to one of the tech companies, etc. So Indiana University, uh, computer science. I like the curriculum. It's pretty standard, straightforward. This is like any curriculum you would see at a... Uh, this is basically any curriculum you would see at a standard like state university. So basically really good curriculum. Same thing you'll see anywhere. And I don't think this is all the computer science courses. I do not think they listed the electives you can do. Like I'm pretty confident there's probably like nine elective credits of computer science you can do as well, which probably one of them would be like uh, mobile development. So I'm just throwing that out there as well. I don't, I do not think that was the whole curriculum, but overall pretty good. Uh, so for any of you that is considering a computer science degree, or for any of you that is wrapping up this degree specifically, I will be launching a website soon, which will help you try to get into the tech industry, help you get an engineering job. It'll have a lot of great resources, uh, and it will help you add things to your resume. It will help add uh, things to your resume so you can help get your foot in the door in the engineering world. So if that website would be of interest to you, then please subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll be launching that over the next couple weeks that I spent a year uh, of my life making. So I would really, really appreciate that. So if you guys, if I helped you in any possible way at all, any possible way, if you liked the video at all, if you could like, comment, or subscribe, or all three, it would help send the video out in the algorithm to newer people so newer people discover me. So anytime you hit that like button, anytime you comment, it says to YouTube, hey, this the YouTube algorithm, hey, this video is good. Let's send it to more and more people. So that means the world to me. I'm always very grateful for that. I'm always very grateful to any single person who clicks my video, uh, whether you think it's good or bad or whatever. I always appreciate it. I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching today. And please stay tuned for future videos. Please stay tuned for my future website. And I'll be going over other computer science degrees in the future. And not just computer science degrees, but I will have tips how to pass any like computer science course and coming out with practice tests for specific computer science courses as well, you know, such as discrete math, such as computer architecture. So if you're interested how to make these classes easier for yourself, I'll have resources available to you. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll have more content coming out pretty soon. So the new year is right around the corner. I cannot believe that it's this year went by already. It's absolutely crazy how time flies the older you get. So I... One word of advice to you guys is to appreciate the time that you have and to cherish every moment of it that you have. Do not waste any of it. It's a short life. So time will go by fast the older you get. It's a short life. Make sure you live your life to the absolute fullest. This is Alex signing out.